All right, we're going to sit with the goody goody genocidal maniac and my boy. You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while her eating serfs chow down obediently at a neighboring table. So she's a rich bitch, too. She's rich, spoiled little bitch, and a gold digger, and genocidal. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. What a noob. Yeah, what a noob. You're so noobie. I, I collect s super cooler silverware than you. I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, this silverware is not for killing. Things can be for stuff other than killing? What? That's lame as hell, but you're from... You're from hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serfs do it for you. What? Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands as benefit as befits the lower class. Wow. So you're like Hitler, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? She doesn't even eat? So you're saying this silverware collection has no practical purpose. That's exactly what she's saying. Things have practical purposes? These two could go around and round like this forever unless you say something to resolve this res the dispute. Damien's right, Mir uh, Miri. Maybe it is time you started murdering people with your silverware. Yes! Yeah, Damien, I got you, boy. I got you. I mean, I was just giving her shit, but I am in favor of any plan that gets more people murdered. Damn, he is. He's fucked in the head. Why does that make me drip all over my chair right now? Oh, how barbaric. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Absolutely, let's kill. Yep, 100%. Absolutely. Well, all right then. Yum, yum. Daisy, take the sharpest of the silverwares in your filthy peasant hands. And go on murdering, would you? Damn, that's... That's bad. <laughs> That's very racist, or not racist, classist. Uh, I was kind of hoping you would uh, do the murdering yourself. Well, she doesn't eat herself, so why would she murder herself? If we're living in an age wherein a lady can't outsource her senseless murders to her servants, I don't know what the world is coming to. I mean, of the girls, she's probably my favorite. Her, the ghost bitch. I like those two the most. Uh, I really like her. She's she's crazy, but it's it's amusing. Fair enough. As long as the murderers get done, I guess I don't care. Miranda even outsourced some silverware murder to you and Damien as a team. How sweet! It really brings you closer to each other. Murder makes the world go round. Um, sure. Exactly. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to go to the gym again. Probably just because I like the outfits. So it is the same art. The match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. Totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts. Two charm. Nice. I, I That's unfortunate that it's the same art, though. And, I mean, the same sport, the same everything else, but yeah. How did Damien? That's mostly why I came to the gym, to see that outfit again. You see Damien about to punch some noob, damn noob. When you suddenly, a dimensional portal opens between the two of them. No. Who are you? You're kind of hot in a weird way. You look like something off, like, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hey, what the hell? I was about to punch that noob. There will be plenty of noobs to punch, my fearsome paramour, when you are mine. What? Mm -hmm. What? I have traveled across time and space to find a fit commander for my armies. 
And for my bedroom. Oh, shit. Pick me, boy. I, Damien's my mans. I'm sorry. I can't go with you, but... I like that. I like that. Oh, you want me to come over to your kingdom so we can kill people and fuck? I wouldn't put it so crassly. Fucking metal. Well, I would, and that sounds doper than hell, which isn't hard because hell is lame, but still. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't like hell. Boy, you're mine. What the fuck? The fuck? I put all this time and energy into this. You gonna run off with the first alien you see? I mean, I, 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 I said I would consider it but i was gonna stay for you but if damien goes to another dimension to fucking kill people how will he fucking kill people with you exactly it's only one thing to do defeat the prince's entire shitty army using nothing but a calendar and a grapefruit a picture of the prince's armies wearing clown shoes and assless chaps wouldn't that just intrigue him what's i'm gonna go fight your army hell yeah armed with your trusty co colander helm and oh a colander like for for food i don't i don't cook and furious grapefruit you charge through the rift i never even seen a grapefruit in real life the prince's army turns out to be just three dudes and one of them is just two toddlers in a trench coat <laughs> that made me think of kate mara and ellen page in uh tiny detectives <laughs> That's just my face penis. You strain the shit out of them, squeeze grapefruit juice into their wounds, and toss what's left into a volcano. And what's more, you live stream the entire thing for Damon to watch back home and then and YouTube, right? Get the views. When you get back, he's applauding. Brad. There you go, I got my boy. Holy shit, that was wicked. I've never seen someone be so gratuitous with a grapefruit. Screw this interdimensional asshole. I want you to teach me about using limes as an offensive weapon. Hell yeah, boy. Hell yeah. Mm, hop on my lap. The prince slinks back into his kingdom to recruit a new shitty army while you teach Damien the mysteries of citrus foo. Two charm and one boldness. Hell yeah, nice. I thought I was gonna lose my mans. It's been a while since I went to the auditorium. Yeah, it's all the same art. I hope the second second term has more art stuff. I don't know if you play as the same character in the second term. I don't know, we're gonna find out. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible, oh no, did I become stupid? I'm not stupid. I'm poor as fuck though. But you don't let that get you down. You start improvising all your lines. And it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of the play is in unexpected ways. Ooh, good. That's my charm. And that's saying something since half of your improvisation, <laughs> improvisation's a rap battle against your inner fears. Yes. That sounds just like my improvisation. Too creativity, but, but no, no. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Pathetic. Uh, rude. Rude. God damn, I signed up for this play because I knew I could fill out these costumes like a goddess. Uh. But now I'm starting to think I might actually hate acting, which is weird because I love lying. <laughs> then that's your fucking problem, Vera. You shouldn't be lying. You should be living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> lying. What, you think I don't know about acting? I have hidden depths, you know. My life isn't all punching and arson. Yeah, I also like knives, it seems. It's just mostly those things. Look, you're an assassin, right? You just need to think the think of the best reason to assassinate someone. That's 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 good. You're, you're giving good life lessons. Ooh, you know exactly what that is. Because nobody's paying you not to. What? No reason at all. Everyone's rotten and deserves to die. <laughs> As she is a money grubber, but I don't. Hell if I know. I, I don't know. No reason isn't a reason. Honey, 
I've run a protections racket before, and that's not how it works. What, am I supposed to kill every single person who isn't paying me not to kill them? That's at least 12 people, maybe even 13. I simply can't be bothered. Hmm, maybe the best reason to assassinate someone is if they jump in with shitty answers to questions that weren't even directed at them? Maybe the best reason to kill someone is because somebody is a bitch. Eh. Damien, why? Everything's bad. I didn't know. Both are stupid. Both reasons made no sense. Hey, that's a great reason to kill someone. Looks like that's your cue to exit. You lose face and you lose two boldness. Oh well. There's my boy. He's hanging out with Scotty. We sit down to enjoy a nice normal meal at the spooky high. See, high means high school, but these are all adults. Cafeteria as usual. Laugh aloud, JK. Something fucked up is always going on here, and today's no different. Oh, oh hello, Dotarius. Did you want to come sit with us in our imaginary friend? No one else is here. Their imaginary friend roars and the whole cafeteria shakes. Okay, Don Terry's, you got some smarts. You're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Why do we have a wild beast under the table? Why don't you take a guess? He's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. <laughs> Y'all dummies, I love you guys. Scott, no we didn't, shut up. Aw, gosh. Well, were you going to teach it? The piano, or maybe the saxophone? I lost my notes. No worries, no notes needed. You know exactly what they should do with this wild beast. Should be the new school mascot. Put him in sports jersey and let's rock. Go team. That's probably him. You brought such a beast to the kitchen to turn it into the next Monster Chef champion so you can split the big... Ascot? Yeah, I knew that was him. I, I I didn't... The other one didn't sound like it was you. I don't know if you like money. I don't know. We'll find out. That's a great idea. Pretty sure Spooky High already has a mascot. But you know what they say. The more mascots, the merrier. No one no one says that, Scotty. No one, no, no one says that. You got some nice chest hair, though. I will tell you that. I really don't think they say that. Well, they should. If most schools have only one mascot, having multiple mascots will be one more thing that makes our amazing school extra special. Bitch! Sorry, Damien, you're not a bitch. I can see it now! The spooky high wild beast that Scott and Damien kept under a table. <laughs> rah, rah, wild beast, eat the other team and make a feast. Try not to get an infection from yeast. <laughs> That sounds like one of my raps, Scott. Actually, that chant is pretty dope. Dotarius, thank you tons. The wild beast mascot sure will be fun. Oh, he's still going. If you ask me, I owe you one. If you were to nitpick, you could point out that tons and one slash fun don't actually rhyme. Oh, fuck off, grammar Nazi. Those totally rhyme. It, it rhymes more than most rap songs. But why would you nitpick such an adorable and genuine display of affection from darling Scott? True. Scotty boy, he's a sweet pea. Well, I'm sure it's the same stuff at night, but let's just go to the bathroom. I've spent most- I've gone to the bathroom three times now. You spend a skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. It's the same text too. You tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bear? No! No you wouldn't! Stop it! Stop! Turtles are cute! That monstrous act would instantly give you 500 boldness? What? But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep two boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're minding your own business when Damien comes rushing through punching everyone who's minding their own business. Me? Yeah! Fuck, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I want to pull out my, my own school out and eat it. 
I'm so angry I want to set the school on fire and then punch the fire in the fucking face. Why are you so angry, honey? Talk to me. I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become president and then use my nuclear codes to blow up the sun. And you, you're standing in my way. Move before I punch you so hard you remember with melancholy the times when you could move without all your bones hurting. Me? Oh no, violence is coming. Think fast. Joke's on you, pal. I'm a pragmatist. I avoid any kind of idealization of the past because it was no use and therefore I refuse feeling any kind of melancholy. No time to think of anything clever. Start dancing. Do it. Dance. You have no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. It is really, really silly indeed. Before you realize, all your classmates have joined you in your silly little dance. What the fuck? Move or I will kill you dead, noob. Oh! Hipster coming to the rescue. But, Damien, you can't deny he is actually moving. Technically, yes. Yeah, quite the moves he has. <laughs> Clearly, even Damien can't fight against logic. Maybe you should move, Damien. Don't be a loser. Yeah, as you said, here you move or you die. All your classmates start chanting, move or die, move or die, move or die, move or die, move or die. <laughs> Damien, frustrated by the crazy, mindless, but joyful mob you've created, finally leaves. Still from afar, you can see an internal fire burning in the back of his eyes but for now you gain plus two boldness and one fun what's wrong damien why are you so salty what's wrong my boy all right let us let's go to class give me your money oh that's a shop i've been avoiding you i didn't know it was a shop well i just was like i i don't i'm not really into furries so i was avoiding you ah shit Hopefully I haven't fucked up my entire game. A tampon used by the former prom queen. Good old blood rituals or in case you're just a creep with unhealthy obsessions. Gross. A fake badass tattoo. Okay, so I want to be badass. Yeah, who'd want to save money for their college fund when they can spend it on weird stuff that most likely useless? That's the spirit champ. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. I waited way too long to spend my money, though I, I don't have much money even having saved for this long. Well, I guess that's a shop. Uh, I'll know that for a second term, I guess. Let's go hang out with the edge lords. What's that then? Maybe that's something else. What are you doing? You mess with me and then you try to sit at my table? You attacked- You attacked me! What?! Go away and get ready to die, fuckhead. You just eat in the corner in science. Will you- Will you die soon? Who knows? What?! I'm not gonna get anyone for prom! And if you think this is unfair, next time don't try to sit at the table the person who has expressed his desire to murder you. But we've been cool this whole time. What did I- do I just dance because he came up to me and attacked me? Is this because I picked a Scott option once? I just... Oh, well. Oh, well. If I end up with no one, I go to prom alone. I, it's not the end of the world, y'all. If you go to prom alone, it's not the end of the world. I didn't even go to prom. Totally not a smart move. Well, fine. There's no way to mend it without fucking talking to him. Let's go to the library. Ooh, poker face. You spend some time in the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems a little stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. Fuck the police coming straight from- Ooh. Money. I think it's too late in the game for me to even think about that. Despite everything else happening around you, you're just solving some Sudokus. I hate those. But your mind is- Constantly going back to Damien. Yeah, something's up. Stupid, sexy Damien and his idiotic short temper. You think he could even be the sweetheart, but he seems more focused on being angry 24-7. For God's sake, he's the kind of guy that could get angry at a banana. 
Probably has. And maybe could use that banana to kill people with my techniques. As a matter of fact, your daydreaming is interrupted by the feral screams of Damien, who seems to be insulting an actual banana. So I'm guessing maybe it's like his feelings for me are making him emotional. I don't, I don't know. He's acting weird. Like maybe he spell for me, so he's like attacking me. Uh... <sighs> you stupid yellow fruit. What's your deal? Do you think you're richer in potassium than me? Probably. No one is richer than potassium the Damien fucking Levy. Gah! Gah! Is he even for real? Stupid sexy Damien. No, you need to put a stop to this nonsense before it escalates somehow into arson. I don't, why would I do that? I've been, I've been encouraged arson every step of the way. I'll eat it. <laughs> You get closer to Damien in a very cool, quiet way. I don't like bananas. Huh? Why don't you mind your own business, noob? But you don't mind your business, you eat the banana instead. What? Deep throat that shit. Show them what you can do to that dick. Ah! Ooh, look at Damien. He's losing his shit again. Yeah, he was bullying that banana, but it seems he's all barking no bite. Not like Dontarius, huh? Indeed. Dontarius seems to be all bite for sure. Uh, you bet your ass I am. Kind of sexy. Oh! Well, I guess if I can't get you, I'll just go with Ghost Bitch or, or him. I don't know. It is alluring being all bite, not the bullying. Bullying is never alluring nor sexy. Okay, hipster. True lat, unless you're pulling a banana. I mean, who cares? That's just stupid. Damien is stupid. Oh my god, stop! Y'all are being so mean to Damien. So is he jealous because I'm too cool? Hashtag winners don't bully bananas. They just eat them. So, you are full hipster. Hashtag Damien is a stupid banana bully. <laughs> what the fuck? Not again. This is it. This is the last time you dare fuck with me, you bastard. Wait, he was blushing. On prom night, we're gonna share a very special dance. It will hurt. Good, I like pain. I'm a, I'm into pain. Ooh, that's a prom fight on prom night. Damien versus Dontarius. Instant classic. Interesting. I might attend. Damn right, you all have tickets to watch how I reduce Dontarius' bones to a sad, shapeless pulp. Fuck off, bro. I'm gonna beat your ass and then I'm gonna fuck your ass. Yes! Free tickets. Hashtag prom fight on prom night. Dot, dot, dot. And so you've led yourself to your own potential death. Nice. At least you gained three boldness. That's right. I'm 21 bold. I'm bold as fuck. Monster prom draws near. Who will you ask? None of them. I'll try. He's not gonna say yes. Yo! Yeah. Let's try. Um. Sure. He fucking hates my guts right now for some reason. I don't know. He's worse than a fucking chick. You finally pluck up your courage to ask your beloved to go. <laughs> he wants to kill me. <laughs> Prom with you, you dumb fuck. Dad. That's a fucking great idea. Are you some kind of genius or something? What? I'll tell you what you are. <laughs> my date to prom. Love is metal. What? We are both very sexy, I'll tell you what. But what? I thought you wanted to kill me. Prom was great. You crashed your limo into the wall of the school and it was the best entrance ever! Everybody had a great time dancing under the lovely light of the car fire. So that story arc just died, I guess. Uh, new events, new outcomes. So yeah, this has a- what? 16 out of 410? 29 endings? Wait, I got zero endings? Oh, secret endings. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, so I got Dontarius, most diplomatic smile. Damien's quote is actual fire an acceptable option for a quote. Probably not. So it just it just went fine. I was really expecting to get the shit beat out of me, you know? Where am I? Where the What? Oh, there I am. 
There I am. I was like, what the fuck? All the characters are already there. This picture's probably the same no matter what. Because I ain't next to my boo. Those six weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Damien found peace in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything till one day he punched his own anger to death. He's written a book about it. Cool, cool. Scott turned out to be a genius and became the most what? How? How? Maybe you're human half smarter. I, I... JK, he became an athlete, duh. Okay. <laughs> He's still a bit of a simpleton, but as lovable and good-hearted as ever. Good. Miranda used her vast knowledge of surfs to get a job hand-picking the best surfs for other people. Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her surfs to do the work. <laughs> for those six weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life. And then it was gone. Just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then. But there was plenty of battles left in that what war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Hell yeah. Oh, credits! I guess we play the second one now.